Morning Bliss and welcome to our weekly live event. I am here in our mobile art studio out on the windy precipice. Is that where we are? <laughs> right. We are on the edge of the beautiful flaming gorge here in Utah. Um, so it's a little windy. So if you hear the howling wind, that's what it is. And because we're in our RV, um, the cameras and things aren't exactly stable. So if you see a little a wiggle of the camera, that's what that is. So I apologize in advance for any little bumps or mishaps that may happen with our technical setup. Um, but that's the, the, the fun of being in a mobile art studio. <laughs> um, in my background, you'll see sweet little Rose. She's hanging out with me. And you've got a beautiful view, you, if you can see back there, of the Flaming Gorge and the beautiful mountain that um, is behind us. It's such a beautiful view. Um, maybe we can get Steve to show you some pictures of um, where we've been for the last two weeks here in beautiful Utah. It's been so wonderful to slip away from the city and kind of hide out, hunker down in our beautiful RV and enjoy being in the wilds. We're in Ashley National Forest. That's where um, Flaming Gorge is. This is a part of the country where Steve and I have been coming ever since we got married. I've been coming here for the last 30 years of my life and it's just so pleasant here and so many great memories and it's so great to be here. So today though, we are here to do some art with you. This is part two of our weekly live events um, and I've got a free coloring page for you and I think you may recognize it. This is from our last event. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so last time we were together, what we did was we took an old coloring page from seven years ago that I had drawn and put in a box and hadn't looked at for ages. And so we pulled them out and I showed you how I use the app on my iPad called Procreate to um, create coloring pages for all of you. So we took this old piece of art and I digitally remastered it. And I promised all of you that once I had it all beautiful, I would make it available to all of you as a download. So it's there now. There's a link in the video description. Just follow it. It's available free for a limited time so that we can celebrate that we have been doing this amazing thing called Coloring Bliss for seven years. And we have another landmark to celebrate here on YouTube um, two weeks ago when we were live I think I literally begged <laughs> for help from all of you to help us finally push past that 50,000 subscriber hill yes. and we did it so thank you so much to all of you for helping us get past 50,000 subscribers <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so thank you so much for that it's awesome and i still want to do something to celebrate that but um i'm not quite ready to do that yet so look forward to a celebration for that because that's really epic for me and steve to have reached that landmark so we'll do something for that but just not today so I do have Steve here, as you saw, and yes, he has no hat on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're both um, hanging out here in the rig with little Rose. I really do have hair. Yeah, he's and got, I need a haircut really bad. He's got his COVID <laughs> hair. I'm calling it his COVID hair, and he's got the camping um, beard, the COVID hair and the camping beard. Right. So. <laughs> So it's pretty fun. We've been having so much fun here in our rig and just, oh, it's just been so great to be out in the sunshine and the wind. <laughs> it's been quite windy for the last two weeks. Yeah, very A lot windy. of wind. We were a little nervous when we were driving here because it was quite windy and Steve, this is the first time he had ever driven our big rig in the wind and he was holding on to that steering wheel pretty tight, but he did really well, so it was awesome. So what we're going to do is do some swatching. Um, we talked a lot in part one of today's event over on Facebook all about what is swatching um, and why everyone I think should be doing swatching and then um, we talked about a new swatch book um, option uh, function that we have in our print shop if you've never visited our print shop before you need to go visit it because we custom make printed 
coloring books for you. We can make it on four different kinds of paper. You can custom build a coloring book. So if you wanted a coloring book and it had this page in it and you hated this page and you want to swap it out for a different page, you can do that. So I don't know of anybody else doing that kind of thing with their um, print shop, um, but we do it here at Coloring Bliss. And so you can come on over and check out how we custom build our um, books. So we talked a lot about that over on Facebook. Oh, we have four different kinds of paper. We talked about all those options. Um, but one of the things that we've offered for a while now are swatch books. Um, but we didn't have a way for you to customize the swatch books, at least fully customize them. You were able to pick the paper, but you weren't able to pick the pages in the in the book in the book. So now you can. Um, a lot of you were rec not recommending, requesting that option. So Steve and our awesome programmer have been working on that, and they made it um, available. So right here, you can see what a a typical swatch page looks like this one has um, 96 little swatches so you can um, see how it works now we have swatch pages that will do 12 little swatches all the way up to how many what's the maximum swatches um, 150 per? 150 so basically you know like the standard numbers like in 12 12 36 48 there's a 24 too right yeah oh sorry yes <laughs> <Skip 24. laughs> So you'll be able to go see all the different options that there are. This was the 96 one that Steve printed out for me, but they all look roughly like this. They have a column over here where you can write notes. They have a section at the top and the bottom where you can write things like Prismacolor across the top. And then sometimes I'll write things like color pencils along the bottom so that I can thumb through my book quickly and find the section that has the tools I'm looking for. So swatching basically, if you've never heard of it before, is when you take a set of your coloring tools and you do a tiny little um, sample of each color. So I just opened up these gel pens today and we're going to swatch them on this page right here so that I can see what exactly green is this green. And then next time I go to color, I'll be able to pull up this um, page if this was in a swatch book. <laughs> I would be able to pull up this page and reference and see, okay, I need a specific green for a page I'm doing. Will this green work? So that's the power of having a swatch book. I call them my swatch Bibles. When I have these books with all these swatches, I can just flip through and find a color that I'm looking for. Plus I swatch for fun. It's a very relaxing, um, blissful thing to do, very therapeutic. So if you enjoy your coloring tools, like I enjoy my coloring tools, and sometimes you don't necessarily want to color a full coloring page, but you want to color, you know what I mean? You just want to color? Swatching might be the thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have is, um, I want Steve to just quickly, because we went pretty in detail on Facebook, but I want to just quickly walk through the ordering process. So if you decide to order one of these custom made swatch books, you can see how it's done and the options that are there for you. It's pretty cool. Our little print shop is um, just our own print shop. We created it. We um, bought these really nice machines, a really good print shop, a print a printer with nice um, binding machines and everything. And it's Steve's sister who runs the print shop when we're out of town. So thanks if she's watching. Thanks, Denise, <laughs> for running the print <laughs> shop for us. And so when you put in your custom order, it will be Denise that builds it for you and <laughs> ships it out. So that's pretty awesome. So Steve, will you show them the yeah. ordering process? <clears throat> Someone says it sounds like a B horror movie <laughs> with the wind. It <laughs> does. It sounds all ooh, mysterious. And, and uh, I can't remember if it was Tika or somebody earlier said we should uh, do this during Halloween. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, Carter's going to have to sleep. He sleeps back here. There's a little loft bed just right above us. Um, and he sleeps right there. And then when um, our kids, our married kids, are going to be here this weekend, and they'll sleep in the bed that's right here. And if it's windy, they're going to be in this howling chamber. <laughs> but that's not my problem. I'll be up on the, the nice bed in the front with the AC if I want it. <laughs> so... 
that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> okay, so um, let's bring up the ordering process so you can see um, what it looks like. If you've never been to our print shop before, that's what it looks like when you go to us virtually. That's not the actual print shop. That's the virtual. <laughs> <laughs> our shopping page. Our shopping page. There yeah. you go. That's and, uh, so we have, you can click swatch books here or you can just scroll down. They're also down here. Okay. Underneath the coloring books. And you'll find this customize button. Woohoo! So you click customize. You've been working on this for a couple months, haven't you? Yeah, quite a while. Yeah. Well, because I did one earlier. It wants to know if I want to add a second book or if I want to change the one I already configured. I'll just change the one I configured. Okay, and this is where I can choose what kind of paper I want. Colored pencil, marker, mixed media, or watercolor. So let me explain real quick the four types. If you're going to do swatching, um, if the majority of this book you're going to put color pencils, swatch color pencils into it, choose color pencils. If the majority of the things you're swatching are markers, choose marker paper. If the majority of the things you're swatching are water-based, say Tombow's, Crayola Super Tips, or actual watercolor paints, choose the watercolor paper. If you're going to swatch a variety of tools, all of the above, I would suggest choosing the mixed media paper because it's kind of a good generic textured good paper for a little bit of everything. So that would be my recommendation for you. Okay. Okay. I will click next. Let me take my face off so you can see. <laughs> <laughs> And then basically what it'll do is it will bring up all of your swatching uh, page options. And like I said, we have uh, 12 up to 150. Um, Swatches per page. Per page, yeah. So there's the 12 right there. Right, 12 is there. And I can't remember why. I'll have to talk to Stan about if we can get them in order. But anyway, you can, under, you can see there's 48 there. So I will say, okay, I want five 48... Uh, swatch pages in my book. You can go up to a maximum of 60 pages. The paper's really thick and so it just gets too thick to bind. Yeah. And our largest binding ring is like one and a quarter inches or something. Yeah. And I want 520s. And I want one of these fun little ones down here like the keys. So let's add five of those. We did put these whimsical pages down here for swatching if you want to do that. These are from our Swatch Bliss Volume 3 and uh, it's just they're they're fun pages if that's what you would like. Yeah, le less structured, <clears throat> more about just relaxing and swatching the colors in just more for fun. So if that's if that's your jam, then get those ones. What is 6 times 150? Uh or, 900. Sorry, 60, 60 times 150. 9000? Yeah. Is it really you could if you did sixty pages of a hundred and fifty? No, I got it. I got to do <laughs> my you calculator. Have, would you be able to do nine thousand swatches? Let me do my calculator. Okay, what's the math? Okay, sixty. Sixty times one hundred and fifty. Times one hundred and fifty equals nine thousand. So you could have nine thousand swatches. If you did the maximum, although they would be really teeny, teeny, <laughs> tiny, and you'd have to write the names teeny, teeny, tiny. <laughs> so not recommended for people like me who have eyesight issues. <laughs> but They're still, not that teeny, tiny. But the room no. for writing would yeah. be small. Yeah. See, I like yeah. the bigger ones where I have lots of room to write notes, and I don't have to cram things. And I can just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you really needed 9,000 swatches, that's the way oh. you could do it. <laughs> yep. Then I click next step. And here you can choose to either have it bound or unbound. Some people like it unbound. Do not bind it because then they can put them in their own um, three ring binder or in what are those clear plastic sheets you have? Sheet protectors. Sheet protectors. We also can do left-handed. That really only applies to the um, probably the 120 and the 150. What what it will do is it'll rotate it um, 180 degrees so that the binding ring won't dig into your wrist when you're uh, filling in the swatches. Yeah. 
You can also write a special message if you want. You can add blank pages. So you could say, I want 10 blank pages in there and a blotting page if you choose to have one of those, like if you choose the marker paper and you're doing, or any of the papers and you're coloring with alcohol marker, you know it's gonna bleed through. Um, or, or you're possibly. concerned, yeah. Because our, our marker paper is pretty thick, so it probably won't bleed through, but. Yeah, but if you want that peace of mind to have a blotting page there, that's yeah. what that's for. And it has some cute little coloring tips on it and stuff like that. Yeah. And then this is your review your order page that tells you about it and you save it to cart. And uh, it takes you back to our shopping cart where you can check out. Awesome. It's going really slow right now, probably because we're all on cellular. Yeah, that's the problem. So when you review the cart, you'll be able to choose like your shipping as well. Right. And look at your shipping. And if you are international, shipping is expensive. The If you think about, you know, it's like a, a stack of card stock. So it's pretty heavy and thick. And so I'm sorry, international people, it's, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, we don't mark up shipping it's just what the no, we, USPS charges us. yeah so that's um discouraging but it's just the truth so okay so that's our new option for you so go forward enjoy <laughs> <laughs> links in the description yeah links are there and Denise is ready to print <laughs> so Candace says ordered my first swatch book last oh. week and excited to get it thanks Denise didn't, re <laughs> didn't realize how much I enjoyed swatching until I added a few swatch pages to my custom coloring book and I was hooked yeah swatching is uh, it's so relaxing like if I have a really bad headache or high pain day or even like a high stress day Sometimes I want to do something creative, but I just can't bring myself to do something um, as as difficult as coloring. I know that sound. You guys know, like choosing colors, deciding where the colors go, even deciding which coloring page to do, can be too hard when you're feeling stressed or high pain. So to sit down and just pick up my favorite tools, like my Prismacolors, and to just swatch that's like enough creative satisfaction for me. Or I'll go and I'll just swatch my, my metallic watercolors and just swatch those. And it just brings me so much joy. Or the Pentel Sparkle Pop pens, those are like heaven to swatch. So like those whimsical swatch pages at the end uh, uh, that he was showing you in the options, you might want to throw a couple of those into your order just to have on a day that you want to color but you don't want to color, you know what I mean? <laughs> then you can go pull out your most favorite tools and just swatch them into that whimsical page just for the, the love of coloring and you don't have to decide anything, you just get to enjoy your tools. It's really lovely. <laughs> It is very lovely. Speaking of swatching some lovely tools, let me show you what I have here in front of me. Let me, uh, I did it. I ran the camera. Okay, so um, Steve's got the chat up so he can answer your questions or tell me what the questions are if you need me. These are the first two pens I want to swatch. I found them in a pack of three with one of the Uniball Signal Whites which um, we've been talking about how much I love and hate a white gel pen. White gel pens dry up too fast for me, so I've ended up switching over to using the Posca White paint pen um, because they don't dry up. So I can, you know, use a white paint pen and um, four weeks later open up that paint pen and it's still working for me. Where a Uniball Signo, a Jelly Roll White pen, all of those, it's hit or miss whether you take that cap off again four weeks from from when you first took it off it might not work it could totally be dried up and i've tried every trick that i <laughs> have heard and i can't revive the pens so um yeah i've kind of given up on white pens but i have never tried the uniball gold and silver so that's why i bought this little pack that we found at walmart and i want to swatch them with you so you can see how they work with me so these are metallic, so um, they're going to be a little different than a glitter pen. A glitter pen will have a lot of shine and shimmer. Metallic pens tend to be very matte, not matte, matte's the wrong word, very opaque, and the shine will be different. It's more of a, 
How would you describe the shine of these pens, Steve? Because it's not a, sh a glittery, blingy shine. Yeah. It's how would you describe the shine that these put off? Are they shimmery? <laughs> sort of mirror-like, sort of water-like. Is water the right word? How would you guys describe a metallic pen? Now, I'm telling you, these flow so beautifully. Let me zoom down. Let's see if I can zoom down so you can see. Zoom down. No. Zoom. There we go. I figured out the zoom. I can run a camera. Aha. <laughs> okay. But boy, are they flowing. Now, this is a one point millimeter. Curly? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, that's more like a pearlescent kind of shine. I think that's the best word yet. I like that. I'll move it in the light here in a second so you can see. I tend to like a glitter pen for when I want bling. I tend to reach for a more glittery pen than a metallic pen because I like that bling. But a glitter pen is more translucent. So I like a metallic pen when I want to cover up something, say a mistake I make. <laughs> um, a metallic pen is, can be your best friend if you're trying to hide a mistake that you made. You can reach for a metallic pen. Okay. Yeah, this is very chrome-like. Very pretty. These flow beautifully. I'm impressed with these. And it, that's a pretty gold, too. I'm kind of picky about my golds. I don't like a green gold. So these are the Uniball... They're calling it Uniball Gel Impact. That's a very juicy pen. I bet we'd get a good smear. Should we try? Pretty good smear. Yeah, that's a pretty good smear. Um, we're starting a new series with the Bliss Partners. Oh, see? Look at that shine. Yeah, it's just shine. It's and chrome, somebody said. Chrome. chrome. Yeah. Yeah, those are so yeah, neat. Yeah, these are neat. I would think these are worth the money. Um, let me show you comparatively. Don't let me hit your legs. We're kind of tight in here. Um, um, do I have... Yeah. These are the Pentel Metallic. Here's the Pentel Slitchy, Sleeky, Slitchy, Sleechy, Sleechy. <laughs> Let's see how it looks compared to, and this is a 0.8, I think. Yeah, so it's not as big of a tip, so it's not going to flow as readily. Let's see if it has as much shine. So one of the reasons I like the Pentel Sparkle Pops so much is they're a hybrid pen. They have a bit of a sparkle, like a glitter, and they have the also the metallic properties as well. So you get a shine and a glitter. Yeah, these flowed way better. This one I'm having trouble getting it to flow evenly I'm having to work I'd have to use some of my other tricks to get this to flow as nicely so again um, if you want to have some lessons on how to color and get the best um, results out of your gel pens I'd highly recommend you join the partners for June we're doing um, a four-part coloring series on gel pens but both are shining very pretty yeah yeah that's very interesting Okay, so that's those. Now let's swatch the scented ones that I have here. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Are we ready? Tammy mentioned you can get the Uniball 3 set at Walmart. That was this set here. It was at Walmart. I can't even remember. Maybe Tammy can remember how she much they were. $5? That sounds about right, yeah. So 
uh, you know, a little over a dollar per pen, almost two dollars per pen. But they are a one point millimeter, which, you know, I love a good bold pen and they flow beautifully. And if you want a white gel pen to try, this is the one to try. This is like the one that all the artists recommend. Okay, so this is the um, Color Sense that we're going to try. Mm, Carolyn just donated. Oh, Carolyn, thank you so much. From Windy Flaming Gorge, I say thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's try and see if these are too scented for me. And these are the names of the scents, and we'll see if Steve can figure out which one is which. Okay. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm afraid I'm going to come away lightheaded. And, with, and a with a headache. If Steve and I both come away with headaches, can we sue creative expression? <laughs> Okay, it's a nice big tip, like it might be a one millimeter or a 0.8. It's a pretty big tip. It's a typical gel pen, like from China, you know. Is it from China? Yep, made in China. That was right. Okay, so I'm going to color out a nice big swatch, and then we're going to take a nice whiff of it. It's a pretty green. It's got some blue undertones to it. Are you scared, Steve? Yes. Me too. Tika asked, are the uniballs the broad tip ones? Yeah, this is the uniball bold is what they're calling it. Oh, bold okay. 1.0 millimeter. <clears throat> oh, and Polly just donated. She says, be safe and careful out on the road. Have fun for me. We are still in quarantine. Oh, <laughs> thank she you. She said earlier that she doesn't miss her rig at all. Really? That's but then again, after what, 10 years, Polly? Yeah, like that, you're on you, the you got your fill, I think. <laughs> okay, you want to smell the green? Okay. I think you can smell it better from the tip of the pen. Okay, let's try. Do uh, I get to see what my options are? Yeah, oh yeah. There's no way you could guess these names. Energizing spirit. Stress away. Danny asked what kind of stone is in your ring. Do you know? Oh, it's it's glass. Oh yeah, did Rylan make that one for you? Um, he made this the setting. Isn't the setting cool? Look at the back of the setting. Rylan made the setting, um, but the ring, the glass stone, I think was made by his teacher, and uh, he picked it out. Well, he showed me a whole bunch of them, and I picked this one out because I was like, ooh, purples, and <laughs> I want that one. Okay, uh, Steve. Eldaleth says it's a pity those are scented because that's a gorgeous turquoise. Yeah, isn't that a neat color? <laughs> <laughs> let, let the wind blow through so you don't smell it. He's still over there I sniffing can't tell. you guys. I have no idea. Okay, maybe smelling one of the other ones will help. Okay, this one. It doesn't smell bad though. No. A little soapy. Yeah. I would say. Most of the time, what I've noticed when people try to do recreate like essential oil smells they tend to smell like laundry soap to yeah. me rather than real essential oils like when you smell a real essential oil like the real stuff it doesn't smell like soap Ooh, i'm catching the whiff of this one just coloring with it i can smell this one where the other one i couldn't this one's stronger Ooh, i kind of this one smells like candy like cheap candy. <laughs> oh, I like that one. This one brings back childhood memories. Like. Oh, totally. Yeah, like, like, I don't know what, what it is. Is it? is it Smarties? Yeah. It's it, Smarties. It smells a lot like Smarties. It smells like Smarties, yeah. that blue does. And that's a really pretty blue. Yeah. So well, that's far. That's interesting. Yeah, the colors are really nice. Really pretty. Okay, here comes the purple. Let's see if it smells as... Tika found a 48 pack of those scented pens on Amazon. 48 of these! Well, they're a little scratchy. They feel like Chinese pens. Um, so they're, you know, like when you color with these up here, it, it feels like a Japanese pen, like a jelly roll. Um, there's just a difference. Um... Sorry, China, but you can't make a pen as good as the Japanese can. I don't know what's going on in Japan, but oh boy, can they make a good pen. 
Okay. Okay. Wow, really pretty colors. Oh. Ooh, I don't like that smell. What is that smell? I, I recognize that smell too. I don't know. I do too. Do you reckon? It's like, like childhood. Like kids candy. This is not a therapeutic essential oil. I'm all, ill. Yeah, you keep smelling This is like it. cheap Ew. candy is what it smells like. <laughs> but if you love cheap candy, this would be like heaven. They shouldn't have called it therapeutic scents. They should have called it your childhood candy. That's yeah. what they should have called it. Then I would have been like, yes, that's right. I remember. Okay, let's try this color. Oh, this one's too similar to that other color, you guys. Ah, that's too bad. You guys know that's another one of my pet peeves. If you're going to have a small set of colors, like eight, you better have eight distinct colors. Don't you agree, Steve? It better be eight very distinct colors. And if you got like that 48 set and there were a couple that were similar like this, I would forgive them. <laughs> but in a tiny set of 48, I mean a tiny set of eight, hmm, yeah, they're all starting to, oh no, that one is better. That one's better. Smell that one. That one's kind of, oh, I better let you smell it first. I we need to tell. get you on camera. I can't tell on any of these. Here, I'll this one I'll smells get more in, like um, get in frame a little more. Like strawberry. Without bumping and me. breaking everything. Okay, here we come with the in rag. my in my short little camp chair. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna bump that. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> They'll only get half of me. The best half. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my best half. No! <laughs> that's not what I meant. Do you want me to scoot over? I might fall down the, the ditch. Okay. There's Don't like, mind us, everybody. Don't like, mind us. The floor like tilts off uh, <laughs> so that if you wanted to drive an ATV up in here, you could. But... No, we don't. We, we're not ATV people. We're, we're computer people. So so the floor isn't quite level. Okay, here comes the red. Let's see what color it is. Uh-oh. Okay, I can tell it's not screwed in correctly. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, we've got a nice red. <laughs> Oh. Did your computer just die? Yeah, I plugged it in, but I all that moving, I accidentally unplugged it. Okay. Oh. I'm trying to smell just the red. Can you tell what any of these names are? Like, no. Stress away. Which one do you think is stress away? <laughs> I'm, I'm highly stressed by this whole experience, so <laughs> I can't smell the red. I don't think the red has any smell. Now, these have been in our stash it. for a little while, so maybe the scent has... You gotta go like this. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> All right, if that's your ASMR. <laughs> Okay. Oh darn, half the people dropped off. <laughs> <laughs> you scared them all away. And Carolyn yeah, and, and Polly are regretting donating now. <laughs> well, more shots of Rose, less of that, please. <laughs> okay, this Sorry, is, everyone. This, is <laughs> this one's orange. Is it going to smell of orange? If I were them, I would have gone for the obvious. Okay, let's see. There's the orange color. You didn't get to see me color that, sorry. No. I can't smell that one either. Red and orange were a disappointment. I'm hoping this one yeah, smells like smell banana laffy taffy. It's probably taffy. supposed to be orchard. Yeah, I'm hoping this one smells like banana laffy taffy. I love that smell. Nice yellow fluorescent color. I don't know how I'm going to bring these colors together in our coloring page. Okay. Oh. That smells like laundry detergent to me. You might like it. 
He likes laundry still. <laughs> I think I'm getting loopy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're not very strong. So if you like the colors, yeah, I would say that they're... I was worried you'd start coloring and like all the smells would like start mixing yeah. together and get really gross. Like those, what's those markers, you guys? Mr. Sensi? That you wait. color with those and it's like, oh, you can't be in the room with them. They're so strong. Okay, here comes the green. Another fluorescent color. I wonder why they picked fluorescent. That one has a stronger smell. Kind of apple-y, I think. Okay. Uh, not much at all. <laughs> okay, now like, let's see if the colors... Okay, i got to find a link to these because uh, Tika said she sent me a link, so I'll okay, share it. Okay, let's see. Oh, the, the smells linger. That's interesting. I wonder how many days... Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You want to smell? Yes, I do. I wonder how many days the smells linger. I bet not very long. This so reminds me of scratch and sniff. Yeah, it really so does fun. take you back to your childhood, doesn't it's it? It's so fun. I miss those. Because they, they're very much... Do you remember... Was, I don't remember... There's some product that we had as a kid that smells like this, and I can't remember what it is. Chapstick? No. <laughs> it was some kind of thing that... Smell. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> it's kind of like funny. <laughs> it's like playing the harmonica with it. <laughs> I still want you to play your ukulele for everybody. Oh. One of these days we're going to get him to play his ukulele, you guys. Okay, so I've got the green and the yellow colors here. <laughs> Sticks 11. Oh my gosh, Steve is hatless. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Yep. I just got out of the shower and didn't bother to do Look, anything. Look, I missed some it. lines here in the illustration. I'll have to fix that, oh, you no. guys. Sorry about that. That leaf got um, gypped some lines. I'll have to fix that. Okay, so we'll come, we'll start up here <laughs> where the illustration is a little bit more correct. Okay, so I've got the green and the yellow, the two fluorescent colors, and I'm just going to do some scribble blending. Um, nothing too fancy here, because um, we don't have time um, to teach much. Now, I have an entire series that I filmed three years ago, you guys, um, here on YouTube, and it has um, accompanying worksheets and everything that if you'd like to go and look at a bunch of really fun tips and tricks on how to color with gel pens. You can go check that out. And then starting in June, which is a week from tomorrow, we are doing a gel pen coloring series. And Steve has challenged me in this gel pen series to color something that I've never colored before with gel pens. And that's um, a face. I've never colored faces with gel pens. Like, try to make a face look good <laughs> with gel pens. So, I've always done things like this or mandalas with gel pens. That kind of thing. I've never done um, a face. So, yeah. We're going to do some reviewing of some really good tips and how to color and paint and do that kind of thing with gel pens. And then once we've got some good skills under our belt, we'll move on to doing some challenging things like um, coloring a face <laughs> with gel pens. Yep. That's the plan. And um, if that sounds like fun to you, then come and join the partners for June. Well, I thought it was interesting what you said when you went back and watched our that series, yeah. you know, how at the time gel pens were your favorite tool. Yeah, three years ago in that video series I said gel pens are my number one favorite tool to color with. And that's not true anymore. So something has changed in the last three years where now color pencils are my number one favorite tool. And I would think that gel pens are probably third. Um, I think markers come in second and gel pens would come in third. 
And I don't know, watercolor is starting to move up too, move up the ranks. So something changed and I want to get the, the joy back in gel pens. So that's kind of my secret purpose with this upcoming series in June is to re bliss myself with you know, with gel pens so I'm excited for that and then tomorrow with our workshop we have a one more workshop in our May series where we're studying light how to get better highlights and shadows in our coloring and so tomorrow we're going to talk about how to light a scene that's tomorrow and yeah, all those um, workshops are all archived for partners. So if you decide to join us for June for the gel pen work coloring series, you'll have access to all of the previous workshops. They'll all be there for you and you can enjoy all of them. Oh, great, Charlene. Uh-oh. I shouldn't tell you this. She says, those who suffer from FSS... Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 don't do it. <laughs> Click Studio brush markers have a bunch of new colors. What? Nuh uh. We'll have to go look. <laughs> <laughs> but that means we might have to redo our. We have tritones set up for the Blick Studio markers. I know. <gasps> We have to get the We nails. have to. It's a requirement. To oh, I just shook the whole rig. It's, gonna shake it's a requirement. A <laughs> Who told us this? Charlene Thompson. Thank you, Charlene. You made my day. <laughs> wow. I'm excited. Okay, now we'll do, um, let's do pink and this. I think this is pink. I can't remember. These are kind of wobbly. What's going on? Oh, it's just the way it sits. Okay. Let's do a blue center like this. And have it. Woo, that one smells strong. That one hit me. Huh. On Amazon, I can find the Cento's Color Sense felt tip pens, but not the gel pens. Mm. Let me see. I'll have to keep looking. Bring in the pink. KR says, yes, just got the huge Prisma set, Jen, because of you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> My mom just got her set. Um, remember I told you guys for Mother's Day, I went to her house and brought her my um, kind of like the watercolor pencil battle mini version i brought her the top 10 for her to try and she ended up ordering the full set of albert durers they were on back order at blick and she finally got her albert durers in the mail so she's been having fun swatching her albert durers and getting accustomed to those Teresa asked, what are some other workshops you've done? We have done, let's see, we did 2019 all through that year of a bunch of workshops. And now we're in 2020. Every month was a new. So there's a lot there. We've done color theory. We've done... Um, Colored pencils, color, alcohol markers, objects. Like how to color different objects. We've done gray coloring scale skin coloring. tones. We've done... I even show you how to make your own grayscale coloring pages if you want. Yeah, there is a lot there. In fact, can they go, when they go look at Bliss Partners, does it show them the different topics that we've covered? You know, I, I don't know if I've updated that or not. I'll have to look and see. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot there. And... A lot of the workshops have exclusive downloads that are just for the partners that um, if you're like... That kind of support the workshops and stuff. Yeah, that only the partners get access to. So we take good care of our partners um, because we know it's, it's an investment to sign up to be a partner and we want to reward you for supporting us that way. And make sure that you feel like you get your money's worth out of um, joining those workshops. So. Yeah, here's a link to be able to see everything that's in the workshop. There. Okay, there's my little flower. 
Hopefully you can see that blue center. I think it's a little easier to see in person. Now I'm going to take a whiff of it and see how it smells. Are we ready? I'm scared. Oh, yeah, my headache doesn't like that. You want to smell? Yeah, it's it just, fifth grade eh, or something. Yeah, it's so weird. Grade. I can't put my finger on it. Okay, now we're going to take the Uniball Silver. and Because I think silver will look nicer with the blue tones. It's kind of a cool toned flower. So we'll just keep going with the cool tone metallics. And just flood the whole center with the silver. I think that'll be pretty. And then we'll follow this little tendril out and flood that tendril with silver. Now, have we reviewed the new Cali Art brush tip alcohol markers? No. Did we do Cali Art brush tips? We did the Ohuhu brush tips. Yeah, but not the Cali Art. We've right. done the Cali Art. Um, standard markers the chisel tips and then i'm really enjoying this silver pen so i'm going to just stx11 says by my count 46 new blicks blick colors largely pastels and lighter tones 46 that's going to be a small fortune so they're up to like 150. whoa i need to save up my money that's a small fortune, you guys. Okay, there is my cute little flower. Let's do another flower. I want to do another. Mary says the leaves came out really pretty. Thank you. The this one. Yeah. Let's see if we can do better. Let's do better. Let's do red and orange. I think those two will look good together. I'm gonna ref reference my swatches. They're pretty close in tone, you guys. I don't know. Is it too close? Let's find out. Let's do a small one. Uh, we'll put red in the middle. This way we can do gold. So maybe we need to do a bigger flower. Uh, so we can do the tendrils and everything. Yeah, we'll do this bigger flower with red in the middle out to the gold. And then we can do, I mean out to the orange, sorry. And then we can do the gold in the middle of this flower. And the cute little gold tendrils. That's pretty. Can you see the difference? Oh, we could do yellow on the very tips. Ooh, a three color. Okay. That one little um, petal um, is curved, so you don't see the yellow. Oh. That's why. Okay. <laughs> On my screen, the center of the flower looks 3D, says Beth. Ooh, cool. And we'll go to orange. And then we'll go to yellow. We got, oh, that's kind of ugly. I don't know if I like that, you guys. Eh, never mind. We're just going to go over it with the orange. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to just two colors because that was too too fluorescent for me just a little bit too fluorescent okay I'm just gonna do a very fast scribble blend here um, in our workshops in June we'll talk about how to get better scribble blends than this this is like your quick scribble blend coloring maybe your with your niece at a boring sports event and you're trying to keep her happy for an hour and this is the kind of coloring you would do, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what we're doing right now. Um, if you wanted to get these streaks out of this, there are techniques and things to do to make this look better. And that's the kind of thing we'll be teaching in the Bliss Partner Workshop Series in June. I think the wind is calming down a little bit. Maybe it'll be nice enough that we can walk out and watch the sunset again. Oh, that'd be nice. There's Candace a, says, I forgot I was cooking. 
Uh oh. <laughs> I hope your dinner didn't burn. <laughs> Polly wonders how glycerin would work with these. They'll work really good. Glycerin is um, like peanut butter and jam <laughs> to gel pens. I will be doing a lot of glycerin techniques um, with the Bliss Partners. Okay, let me show you close up how that's looking. Eldaleth says, you're making me want to dig out my gel pens. Yeah, see, I think that it's one of those things that we kind of put away. And yeah. I think that's what's happened. I keep out my, um, I keep handy my Sakura Jelly Roll pens. And I keep yeah. handy my Pentel Sparkle Pops because, you know, they're amazing. But the rest <laughs> of them I have kind of put away. And mm -hmm. I need to rediscover the bliss of my gel pens, you guys. They're amazing. This is funny. I'm just all down here. Oh, <laughs> you can just take a nap on my shoulder. Okay, let's add the gold of the uniball in the middle of this one now. Ooh. That's pretty. Okay, Lindsay says, I got some Gelosity pens today. I'm liking them Ooh. so far. Pretty colors. Cool. Star says, the wind reminds her of Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> Just waiting to see a cow fly by. <laughs> or an antelope in yes, our case. It would antelope, be an antelope. <laughs> or the poor little ground squirrels. Oh, that would around. be sad to see the little ground squirrels. <laughs> Bonnie asked if it's cold. No, it's actually really warm. It's been in the 70s today. Yeah, I, I guess that's uh, it's not depending that on your perspective. For us, it's warm because we we like the 60s. Yeah, to, to those who are in the south, yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, okay, let me move that in the light now so you can see. Look how pretty. And the silver, oh, that's really fun. Okay, now the smell test of the red flower, right? Whoa, just says, I just bought the 74 set of jelly rolls after watching your video. <sighs> They are awesome. I love my jelly rolls. They're awesome. And Michelle keeps her jelly rolls and yeah. sparkle pot pans handy sitting on the top of her shelf so they're ready. Yeah, those two are like the go-to gel pens. But I think I need to... I think that this month in June where we're going to be focusing on gel pens with the partners will be good for me to remember how fun this is. Yeah, and why you like them. Yeah, and why you used to like them the most. how cheerful this is. This is so fun. And, yeah. Um, and they all, if you get <clears throat> these, they all start smelling the same. There's no difference after a while. Yeah, and it's a really mild <laughs> Did smell. Did you get it on your nose? I don't think the gold was was dry yet and he was like <laughs> really in there <laughs> <laughs> he'll be no. a gold rudolph okay so um yeah these are okay they're they're your typical um chinese gel pens you know there's the chinese gel pens are there's tons of them on amazon to purchase and they're performing just like a typical with a little scent added in Chinese gel pens. So yeah. I wouldn't say don't buy them, but I wouldn't say rush out and buy them right now. These two right here, on the other hand, if you're looking for a good metallic pen, I highly recommend. They flow really pretty. Um, no problem at all with the flow and the metallic sheen on them are really, really stellar. And like we were saying, this little pack, the three pack and you get the white, is available at at least my local Walmart and it sounds like someone else has found them at their Walmart and if you want to know we found we also found at our Walmart um, they were selling Tombos this year with the oh, back yeah. to school stuff yeah. a couple different Tombow products like um, their calligraphy pens and stuff too so if you've been wanting to look into some of the Tombow products they're there this year on in the Walmart. What were the other ones? Seems like you saw another name brand. Um, there was one other. And now I can't remember. Yeah. So go look, cause there they had a little smattering of some neat things in the school stuff. So what kind of pens are they again? I'll show you the. This is the packaging here. It looks like this. Centos, is that what it says? Yeah, color sense like this. This was in the front like this. Um, creative Expression Vivid Colors by Sentos Weveal. Um, Weveal.com, it says. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I just noticed the wind calm down just as we end here. Yeah. It's 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 coming down so you and I can go out for the sunset. That's what's That's happening. Right. So so yeah, I would recommend these. Oh, should I give them my little slideshow? That yeah, I we want to show you a little um, video slideshow of, of some of the beautiful places we've been camping over the last few days. We've been um, out here for uh, a little over a week now, week and a half, about a week yeah. and a half we've been out. So it's been lovely to be out and enjoying not... I think what's been really shocking to me is how much I was thinking about like the COVID stuff. Even yeah. though I don't leave the house hardly ever, it was still on my mind a lot. And as soon as we got out of the city, I stopped thinking about it and how relieving it has been. Yeah. To just have a small break. And of course, ever so often it comes back, like the National Forest workers that are here at this campground, they go around and they're all wearing masks and they're disinfecting everything, the picnic tables, everything. So I really appreciate them and their hard work. And then you go, oh yeah, that's right. COVID is still going on, you know? And so I think it's made me realize just how much this COVID stuff has taken over our lives. I didn't yeah. realize how much it had taken over my life where I don't leave the house that much, you know? <laughs> anyway, so I'm yeah. really grateful for the break. So let me let you have a little taste of the break too. Maybe it will help calm your spirit too. So here's some pictures that Steve's been taking. He's loading them up right now. Okay. Did it, uh, it it's not connected for some reason he's trying to get it to real connect. quick have, have you tried the artist loft dual brush tip pens no i haven't tried those but i've been very tempted to buy them I, aren't they like a dupe for the tombos like a a copy of the tombos um and artist loft is michael's right and i've looked at them and they look decent so i maybe i'll have to buy them one of these days Okay. Steve's so trying Try to get again. his um there we go. And then more questions for me. Oh, what pen pens will you be using next week? I don't think we have that. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm not too sure. I have a couple ideas for our live event next week, but I'm not going to commit yet because I have also an idea to celebrate our 50,000 subscriber landmark. Thank you everyone for helping us hit that. Um, so I'm, I need to talk to my partner here and we need to decide what exactly we're going to do next week. And it kind of depends too how good our cell strength is next week. Yeah. We came and parked right at. here. And actually in this very camp site. <laughs> it's the exact spot. Because it had good cell strength. We literally went from campsite to campsite with our phones going, nope, this site has and like two <laughs> sites down, like, you know, 30 feet that way. There's n almost no cell we strength. We spent five hours one day driving around. Looking for cell yeah. strength. Yep. So, yeah. We found it. It's right here and like nowhere else in this whole area. We'll show so. you where right here is. However, this is where we didn't have good cell signal, no. which is why we had to cancel last week. We had to leave this area because we can't. We couldn't work here. We loved it here, but... Uh -huh. This was epic. Um, look at that wall. That This was outside our window. So that's our rig. I don't know if you can zoom in. Can you zoom in a little bit? That's our... Um, RV that we're in. It's very big and Steve is so brave to drive it. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to learn how to drive it, but not yet. And there's little Mishka. We called him our river cat because yeah. he was such an explorer. Um, he's so cute. There were these birds and he was hunting the birds. And Yeah, oh. didn't even have a chance at getting the swallows, but no. he thought he did. Yeah. So he yeah. had fun. That's me sitting out in front of the rig. I was trying not to get a sunburn. You can't tell, but I do have a bit of a sunburn under all this makeup. <laughs> but yeah. And Rosie in the wind. Yeah. Oh, and here's Jen. She went for a little walk to with Rosie down by the river. Yeah, I've been trying to walk more, trying to get more exercise. And look at that beautiful river. Oh, it's been so wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
So therapeutic. And we saw bald eagles. Yeah. So every morning and every evening. Just right outside our, right where we were camping. It yeah. was amazing. These two bald They were hunting eagles every morning and evening. they come in and they would fish and we would watch them dive down and grab fish and then go sit and eat them. And it was really amazing. That was out our front door. Yeah. That was so amazing to wake up to that every day. The river goes down into the lake, into the reservoir. Yeah. And then we came here. And that's Jennifer watching a sunset. Yep. Jennifer putting on nails. <laughs> that's outside with yep. a beautiful view. I was giving him a look. I'm like, Steve, why are you taking a picture of this? <laughs> Jennifer and Rosie. Yeah, on my electric walk. wheelchair, That's going for a walk. There's a selfie of us. Yep. We're watching the sunset last night. There's our rig. Yep. And that's where we're parked with good cell service. Woohoo! And then uh, here, I, there's one other section that I, I just realized I didn't do. He's bringing up another picture for you. Need to do right here. Let's see. Oh yeah, they got to see this one. Oh yeah, that's a good picture. So this is. I think you said you posted it. Yeah, I posted this picture on Instagram and also on our Facebook page. So you can follow me on Facebook and in Instagram, and I've been posting a few. Well, this is the only picture I've posted so far. Doing but. art out in nature, looking over the. Oh, go back. This is our campsite with my drone. I took some pictures. That's our rig there right at the bottom. Right on the river and the lake. No, oh, Steve was so brave to drive the rig down that dirt road. <laughs> There's Jennifer again. Let's see. Oh yeah, and then the sunset last night. It was just really pretty. Yeah, so much fun. Amazing. There we are again. Our rig. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for that slideshow. <laughs> All right. Well, remember to come and download this page. It'll be free for a limited time. And I am working on more of these remastered um, from seven years ago coloring pages. So hopefully soon there'll be a new coloring book you can order that will be featuring all of these old um, coloring pages that I'm fixing up and making all beautiful and new. And then also don't forget to come and order a new swatch book. Uh, you can customize it now and it's all there ready for you to um, pick and choose what pages you want in the book and then you can pick what paper you want the whole book printed on and have it ordered and Steve's sister is ready. We've got her ready. <laughs> we ordered lots of extra paper for the print shop and, and she's were, ready. They were reminding to see the picture of the, you know, the guy who gave us the fish. Oh yeah, we, I was telling everybody, was that on Facebook? I told the story of um, the fishermen that would come in and you could tell the ones that didn't know what they were doing. And then there was this one guy who came down and he flicked his fishing rod in and pulled out this big, beautiful fish and held it up and said, you guys want dinner? <laughs> and Steve was flying his drone. And so I took a picture of Steve <laughs> and he's got in one hand the drone it's controller. It's hard to see on here, but yeah, it's me. Oh, you're going to just show it that way? Well, it's, I don't really have another way, but yeah, I'm like he's trying to land my drone. He's got the fish in one hand. And he's got the drone in the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to land my drone. <laughs> With this big, beautiful fish. And we're like, yeah, we'll take a fish. <laughs> so that was a really, I think we cooked it for lunch. Because we were like, we're not waiting for dinner. We're going to cook it right yeah. now and eat it right now. <laughs> so that was pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, we're very blessed and very lucky. And we're really blessed to have all of you as supporters of Coloring Bliss. So thank you to those of you who supported us financially during this live stream. We're so grateful. And if you enjoyed this live stream, make sure you hit a thumbs up. And we'd love you to subscribe. And thank you for helping us hit our goal of 50,000 subscribers. We're <laughs> so excited about that. So thank you so much. And we hope that you have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Bye.